After drafting Scotty Barnes with the fourth overall pick in 2021's draft, the Toronto Raptors' defense for next season is elite. With Barnes, Ananobi, and Siakam, the Raptors have three perimeter defenders with at least a 7'2 wingspan in their starting lineup. This video shows you why the Raptors' versatile wing defense could be special. Before continuing, over three quarters of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed, so if you're looking for consistent NBA content, you're in the right place. Also, to be friends, follow me on Instagram at dflowhoops. Everyone was shocked when Masai Ujiri and the Raptors front office decided to pass on NCAA star Jalen Suggs, the man who hit a game-winning three-pointer to send Gonzaga to the national championship game. But the man they did take, Scotty Barnes, has a ton of potential and fits in with the Raptors system a lot better. At Florida State, the 19-year-old Barnes showed off some explosive athleticism and two-way potential. More on the Toronto rookie is coming up but quickly flashing back to 2019, when the Raptors had the perfect defensive personnel and game planning, which ultimately led them to a championship. From the Giannis wall to the box and one on Stephen Curry, Nick Nurse pulled out every trick in the book. I thought Nick was way too hard on Pascal Siakam in his post-game interviews last year, and struggled to keep the ear of his locker room in Tampa Bay. That led me to call him an overrated coach last season, which I'll admit, was a bit too overly critical. Nurse has the right to build up an ego because when he's given the right personnel, we've seen all the strategies that he can pull out of his bag. That was a reactionary take of mine, so I'll apologize to Nick for that one. As a Raptors fan in Toronto, the quarantine up here was getting to me, and the Raps being in Tampa just didn't feel the same. But when Toronto had defenders like Kawhi Leonard, Serge Ibaka, Danny Green, and Marc Gasol, Nick's game plan led them to a title. Remember, OG Ananobi was hurt throughout that title run, but the development of OG and Pascal Siakam since then, specifically on the defensive end, has been evident. Since 2018-19, Ananobi's doubled his steals per game average and cemented himself as one of the league's best forward stoppers. He can really bother players on the perimeter with his physicality, length, and lateral quickness. Meanwhile, for Siakam, he's had growing pains, but has elevated into a better defender throughout each season of his career. His 7'3 inch reach allows him to make up a ton of ground, he's an active post defender, and he can lock up opposing teams' top players in isolations. Additionally, even though Siakam's 6'9, he showed the ability to switch on to smaller guards and stick with them. With Siakam entering his sixth season and Ananobi entering his fifth year, these two are entering their athletic prime, which is bad news for star players in their division. It's good news for the newest Raptor, Scotty Barnes, who will have a ton of experienced wing players to learn from. Envisioning a small ball lineup of Siakam at the 5, OG at the 4, and Barnes at the small forward, the Raptors could have a scary defensive lineup on their hands. At 6'9", 225 pounds to go along with a broad 7'3 wingspan, the Florida State product's stature is NBA ready. At the college level, he was the ACC Sixth Man of the Year, the ACC Freshman of the Year, and he made the All-ACC Third Team. While he's got the size of a power forward and looks like a guy who'd act as the screener in the pick and roll and pop out to the three-point line, Barnes has a tight handle off the bounce, which will make him one of the many small ball fours to follow in the footsteps of guys like Kevin Durant and Giannis Adetokounmpo. In terms of his playing style, that is. The key for him to grow into a star is polishing off his outside shooting and general scoring ability. But in terms of his defense, Barnes is an elite prospect as his energy, effort, motor, instincts, and versatility are all at a pro caliber level. The pride this kid takes in his defense is something special and rare among players entering the league nowadays. Overall though, you can tell by his off-court style and personality, plus his on-court demeanor, that Barnes is built for the bright lights of the best basketball league on earth. With the Raptors returning to Scotiabank Arena next year in Toronto, knock on wood, Barnes should thrive playing off one of the best crowds that sports in general has to offer. He fits in with how the Raptors and coach Nick Nurse want to go about their business. From 2014 up to 2020, the Raptors built up a defensive culture that led them to the playoffs in seven straight seasons. Last year, Toronto took a step back, ranking just 16th in defensive rating throughout an injury-plagued season. 
Ananobi missed 30 games, Siakam missed 16, Van Vliet missed 20, Lowry missed 26 games, and the Raps missed the postseason for the first time in nearly a decade. Lucas. They won't be back to the contenders they were in 2019, but in terms of making the first, second, potentially a third round series if you get lucky, you'd have to get very lucky of course, but it could still happen if they stay healthy. Of course, Lowry's going to sign somewhere else, but the top defenses in the league always find a way to be towards the top of their conference, and with three lengthy wings built for the modern game, Toronto's definitely going to have one of the better units on that end of the floor. I'm excited to see how the rest of the offseason plays out for the developing Raptors. Shoutout question is, was taking Scotty Barnes over Jalen Suggs a good decision? This video shoutout goes to Emmanuel Chicas, who says it's a coin flip whether Russ being in LA will work very well or crash and burn. For a chance at yearly awards and to get your name on the speaks board, leave your take on today's question. This was D-Flow. Have a great one, and I'll see you next video.